Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna work on this bracelet which I decided to name Shahrizad. It's a pretty easy bracelet to make because this is even campiotti. But it is so gorgeous because of the different beads we used and because of this clasp. This is a box clasp, seven strand. It's gorgeous. You can find them in my shop. I have this in gold and silver. And let's get the materials ready for this one. First, let me show you the bits I used for this one. So I used a bit of 15 or tohos, gold ones. It's just to add the clasp. So this one is 557. Then I used toho demi rounds. I used this turquoise. I call this 413, then I used 2mm fire polished rounds, and I used saturated metallic grenadine, and a Tohos code 25C, this is silver lined ruby. So these are the colors I used for this one, and of course this box clasp. I will leave all the links in the description box, so if you just follow them and purchase them in my shop, you'll get yourself a nice kit and you'll have lots of beads left over because all my beads come in these huge tubes so for the second bracelet I'm gonna use a silver clasp then I'm gonna use turquoise atos this is called 55 then I'm gonna use this champagne 2mm chick fire polished round beads then I'm gonna use my favorite iris brown demi rounds I might have to get a second tube for this because I don't think this is enough for the bracelet and this is called 83 and I'm gonna need a bit of 50 no to add the clasp at the end so I just matched my 50 no's to the clasps then I'm gonna need a thread I'm using Miyuki and this is blue azure beading needle size 10 scissors to cut the thread and a stop bead to start off so I'm gonna thread my needle and then we'll get to work so I thread my needle we start with our stop bead take my needle through the stop bead leave about a tail of 12 inches that will be enough to add one side of the clasp and take my needle through the stop bead. I like to do it twice, so I know my thread stays in place. And then pick up one a toe, one demi round, one far polish, one demi round, one far polish, one demi round, six a toes, one demi round, far polish, demi round, far polish, demi round, and finish it off one with a toe. And drop it down to our stop bead. And then we start our peyote. Pick up one a toe and then here go through this set of beads. Then pull your needle through. Like so. Pick up a toe, skip one bead, go through the next. Like so. Pick up a toe, skip one bead, go through the next. First row is always wobbly, but it's pretty easy when you're with, working with such big beads. One a toe, skip one, go through the next. And then pick up that set of beads. Demi round, fire polish. Demi round, fire polish, demi round, and then go through the last bead here. Flip over. Now what I do in this row, you repeat over and over again until the very end. So pick up one eight-o. Now here, go through this whole set of beads. Pull your needle through. 
pick up your natal, go through the next sticking out bead, pick up your natal, go through the next sticking out bead, pick up your natal, go through the next sticking out bead, pick up this set of beads, demi round, fire polish, demi round, fire polish, demi round. And go through the eight toe. That's it. Flip over and repeat. Eight toe. Go through this set of beads. Pull your needle through. Pick up eight toe. Go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up an eight toe. Go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up an eight toe. Go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up that set of beads. Demi round, fire polish, demi round, fire polish, demi round. Then go through the eight toe. Flip over and repeat. Pick up a fire. Uh, Eight toe, go through this set of beads. Pull your needle through. Eight toe, go through the next sticking out bead. Eight toe, go through the next sticking out bead. Eight toe, go through the next sticking out bead. Pick up that set of beads, then me round. Fire polish, demi round, fire polish, demi round, and then go through the last bead. Flip over and repeat. I'm not gonna do the whole bracelet, I'm just gonna add a couple more rows and then I'll show you how I added my clasp. So, this is how much I have. I'm just gonna go ahead and attach the clasp. I'm gonna start with this side. Now this clasp has both sides are slightly different because this one has this closed jump rings. This one doesn't. I'm just gonna show how I add clasp on both sides. This is free form. You can add it any way you want because there is no exact science to this. So here I'm gonna align this two together like so. Take my needle through this first jump ring. Like so. So this one will have to be aligned with this one. So I'm gonna take a 350 nose and then I'm gonna take my needle through the three beads. So make sure you pull your thread nice and tight. Like so. So that's where I'm gonna align the second loop. So I'm gonna take my needle through the second jump ring. then here what I'm gonna do I want to see where I'm gonna align the third one so it will be before this one so I'm gonna pick up five 50 nodes two three four five drop it down I'm gonna take my needle through this third loop as well and then Go through this first sticking out turquoise bead. Like so. And let's see where I want to align the fourth loop. So it's gonna be here. So I'm gonna pick up 250 nose, drop it down, take my needle through the fourth jump ring, and then go through the next sticking out bead. tight and let's see where I want this one again I want it here so I'm gonna pick up 250 nose drop it down I'm gonna take my needle through this fifth jump ring and 
and then go through this sticking out glue bead or turquoise bead now where I want to align the sixth one so I think I want it aligned before the middle the me round so I'm gonna pick up three 50 nose drop it down take my needle through the six like so pull my needle through and then I'm gonna take it through this middle demi round like so pull my needle through and then I'm gonna pick up 550 nose and then I'm gonna take my needle through this last jump ring and then come back around this last ato and that's how I added this side so now all I have to do is just reinforce so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take my needle back around here so I'm just gonna go through my bigger beads so you see it's very free form there is no structure to it how you add the clasp so you can add it the way it's comfortable to you but for the beginners it might be confusing so if you are just follow the steps I've taken and you'll be fine so I'm out of this very initial ato, and all I'm gonna do is reinforce. I'm gonna go through the 50 nose, through the beads it went through, so it came here, and then I added some 50 nose here. Go through all of them, come here, and then more. 50 nose here like so 50 nose here we are just reinforcing nothing special just going through all those beads we added and in between the beads that we went through to make sure our clasp stays put for a very long time stays attached to our work especially if you're selling you don't want customers complaining that their bracelets broke so just have to go through this last 50 nose I added and that's it, this side is done. And that's it, very strong. And because we used same color 1506 beads as our clasp, from far you can't really see how you added it. So that's the beauty of it. And now I'm just gonna get rid of the tail. I'm just gonna show how I do this one. It's very easy, especially when you're using this huge beads. I'm just gonna go back and four between a couple of seed beads and then I'm gonna go down here go down here again I'm doing multiple times because our beads are so big you don't want your thread come loose I think that should be fine. That's it. And then here I can cut the thread. So one side is done. Now we're gonna attach the next side to this one. I'm gonna do it again on the camera because it's slightly different. But we use pretty much the same technique. Finding where you wanna attach the loop and just figuring out how figuring out how many 50 nodes you want to add there to hide the thread okay so i thread my needle let's 
same. So I want the outside loops pretty much on top of the outside eight toes. So I'm gonna pick up two fifty nose, drop it down, take my needle through the first loop, take two fifty nose drop it down and I want to see where my second is okay so I need to come out of this so I'm gonna take my needle through this first demi round like so now here I'm gonna take 250 nose drop it down take my needle through the second loop Second one, again, I want to go through the second demi round. Pick up 250 nose, drop it down, go through the second demi round. Now, third one, again, I want on top of the demi round, so I'm gonna pick up 250 nose, drop it down, go through the third loop. Pick up 250 nose, go through this last demi round. Okay, now this one I want between these two, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my needle through these two A toes, like so. Pick up 250 nose. Drop it down, take my needle through this fourth loop, pick up 250 nose, then go through this A tone, pick up 250 nose, drop it down, go through the fifth loop, pick up 250 nose drop it down, then go through this last eight-toe here, pick up 250 nose, drop it down, go through the sixth loop here, get okay, where I want to come through, I think I want to come through the middle thing around there, pick up 250 nose, drop it down, take your needle through this medium middle demi round and I think I want to pick up 450 nose drop it down go through this last loop and I think I'm gonna pick up three mm, 350 nose drop it down and then come around this last eight toe. And that's it, that's how I added this side. Now again, I'm just gonna go back around, reinforce and get rid of the tail. This must be the shortest bracelet I have ever done. <laughs> I can't even close the clasp. Anyway, I showed you what I wanted to show, you know how to make this bracelet, so. That's the shorter version. This is the full version here. Oh, here. I wanted to show you how it looks on my wrist. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Anyway, you look at it. That's it guys, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around. Uh, make sure to check out the description box, I will leave uh, links and list of materials for both of them. And I'll see you in the next one, bye bye!